Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do solving rational equations transformable to quadratic equations. So again, yung mismo discussion natin today is all about we are given a rational equations and then as we solve this kind of equation is mga transform siya into quadratic equation. So again, without further ado, let's discuss this topic. So you have here example number one. As you can see, this one is clearly an example of rational equation because it is in fractional form. So ang target natin ngayon is makonvert natin siya into quadratic equation and then eventually we can use different ways on how to solve a quadratic equation. So again, we have here solve x over 3 plus 12 over x is equal to x minus 12. So basically, ang target natin ngayon is mapadali yung ating solution. So what is the first step in doing this? First, you need to focus on your denominator. You have 3 and x. So magkaibing ka lang denominator. Meaning, since magkaibing ka lang denominator, we need to find the LCD or the least common denominator. Since you have the variable and the number 3 and x, so you can say that the LCD is 3x. Again, the LCD is 3x. Ganun ang ginagawa kapag merong single term or monomial na coefficient at variable. So, aning use or aning gamit ng LCD natin? So, okay. Papakita ko sa inyo step-by-step -step process. First, copy muna natin yung given rational equation. You have x over 3 plus 12 over x is equal to x minus 2. So what is the purpose of that? Ang purpose niyan is that you need to use that LCD to multiply the whole equation using 3x. Bakit? Gamit yung LCD kasi natin, we can eliminate the denominators. Kasi dito na mga sa talaga sa ating rational equation, ang pinaka problem ay yung denominators. So we can use or we can multiply the whole equation by its LCD which is 3x para may eliminate yung ating denominator. So, papakita ko sa inyo, um, when we multiply this to this one, ang mangyayari, it will become x squared. Okay? So, medyo, di ba, medyo nakakalito. So, I will give you the process on how to do it. So, using distributive property, magiging 3x times x over 3. Okay? Plus, you, can, you need to multiply 3x also to the second term, which is 12 over x, magiging 3x times 12 over x. Sa mga nag-solve ng ganitong klaseng equation, ang pinaka-advice ko sa inyo is hindi nyo kailangan i-rush yung inyong solution. Ang pinaka-tip ko sa inyo is for you to familiarize first the steps on how to do it. And then eventually, kapag na-master nyo na, you can skip some of the steps on how to solve this kind of equation. And then for the right side of the equation, you need to multiply x minus 2 by 3x also. Okay, that's it. Okay. So, pwede natin gawin. We can actually do this one by one. So, you have 3x times x that will give you 3x squared. And then negative 2 times 3x, you have minus 6x. Ang pinaka kailangan natin simplify sa ngayon ay yung left side of the equation, itong part na to. So, as you can see, we can eliminate 3 here. Okay? Because 3 over 3 is 1. And then, multiply x times x, that will give you x squared. Tapos, ito naman sa part na to, you can eliminate x. And then you can simply multiply 3 and 12. It will give you plus 36. And then sa right side natin, you have 3x squared minus 6x. So dito, so initially, ang target ang gagawin mo rito is to combine like terms. And then you will move 3x squared to the right, to the left side of the equation. 
hindi nyo na kailangan gawin yun. Ang mas magandang i-move nyo ay yung X-squared. Papunta rito. Kasi, kapag minove nyo si 3X-squared sa left side, ang mangyayari, magiging negative 3X-squared siya. Magiging negative 3X-squared plus X-squared, which is magiging negative 2X-squared. So, ang advice ko sa inyo is ang lipat nyo na lang yung mas mababang term with the lower coefficient. So, lipat natin yung x squared sa kabila. So, it will give us 3x squared, right? And then, minus x squared. Minus 6x, copy natin. And then, itong 36, silipat na natin sa kabila, sa right side. So, you have minus 36. Simplify natin. This one is equal to 0. So, 0 is equal to 3x squared. Sorry. This is 2x squared minus 6x minus 36. So as you can see, pwede natin siyang i-reverse by equality kasi mayroon tayong reflexive property. So we can rearrange our equation as 2x squared minus 6x minus 36 is equal to 0. So... In solving quadratic equations, importante rin na makita nyo yung bawat terms ng yung equation. As you can see, you have 2, negative 6, and negative 36, which are divisible by 2. So we can reduce the given equation. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divided by 2. So mangyayari, magiging x squared na lang, minus 3x, minus 18 is equal to 0. So as you can see, the given rational equation, it became a quadratic equation. Wherein, you need to think if you can use extracting the roots, factoring, completing the square, and the use of quadratic formula. So hindi pa tayo tapos kasi, ang target natin is to find the value of x. So basically, you have negative 18. I think the factors are x minus 6 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of x, you can have x minus 6 is equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of x, that will give you x is equal to 6. Ito naman sa left side, x is equal to negative 3. These are the values of x. So we can say that your x is equal to negative 3 or 6. Yan yung sagot natin. Okay? So those are the values of x. Given the equation, x over 3 plus 12 over x is equal to, 12, is equal to x minus 12. x minus 2. Okay? Let's move on to item number 2. We have here the given rational equation x plus 2 over 2x plus x plus 2 over 4 is equal to negative 1 over 2 so we have that manonotis natin na yung ating LCD is magkakaiba or different meaning you need to find the LCD LCD Given those numbers, you have 2, 4, and 2. So basically, for the numbers or the coefficients, you have 4 as your LCD. Then you have the variable x. So, attach mo lang dyan yung x. Ibig sabihin, ang yung least common denominator among the three denominators is 4x. So, copy natin. x plus 2 over 2x plus x plus 2 over 4 is equal to negative 1 half. Then, ang purpose niyan, your LCD, multiply the whole equation by your LCD. You have 4x here, then 4x here. Dito tayo, you have 4x times x plus 2 
over 2x. Plus, ito naman yung multiply natin second term. You have 4x times x plus 2 over 4. Is equal to ito. We have negative 1 times 4x over 2. So, before natin distribute yung ating numerators or simplify yung numerator natin, tingnan muna natin kung we can eliminate some of the denominators. Ito, yung x pa natin may eliminate. Wala ni x. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay? So, ang mangyari dito, dito ay 2 times x. You have 2x. Then, 2 times 2, that will give you plus 4. Right? And then this one, for the second term, you can eliminate 4. So, multiply natin at matitira yung x. x times x is equal to plus x squared. Ito naman, x times 2, that will give you plus 2x. For the right side of the equation, makawala itong 2. Itong 4 ay magiging 2 na lang. Kasi 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you still have minus 2x. Okay? Rearrange lang natin yung ating equation. So you have here x squared. Is equal to, sorry, x squared plus 4x plus 2x. Uh, 4x muna. Plus 4 is equal to negative 2. Now, rearrange lang natin ating equation. You have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 2x. So, dapat lahat ng ating terms ay nasa left side or magkakasama para makapag-solve tayo ng quadratic equation. So, we have negative 2x. Dali natin sa kaliwa or sa left side. It will become x squared plus 4x plus 2x. Yung negative 2x natin, it will become positive 2x. Plus 4 is equal to 0. So as you can see, you can have the final quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0. Ngayon, iisipin mo ngayon dito. Um, ano ba yung pwede natin gawing method. As you can see, we don't have a factor of 4 that can give you the product or the, the sum of 6. Diba? Wala tayong factors ng 4 that can give us the product or sorry, the sum of 6. Okay? So, isipin mo ngayon, uh, do we need to use quadratic formula or completing the square? So, ako, I will go with the quadratic formula which is x squared, uh, sorry, x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Ito ay kailangan nyo i-memorize guys, kasi mahirap din ma-memorize itong quadratic formula. We're in your a here is equal to 1, your b is equal to 6, your c is equal to 4. Then after that, again, ha, remind, remind ko lang po kayo guys, in using the quadratic formula, it is important for us to write the equation in standard form. Kasi pag hindi mo nasulat sa standard form yan, mag yung value ng a, b, and c. Okay? So, plug in natin yung mga values natin sa ating, sa ating formula. You have x is equal to negative 6 positive negative square root of six square minus four times one times four over two times one then your x is equal to negative six positive negative square root of thirty six then this is minus 16 over 2. And after that, simplify muna natin sa loob ng radical natin. You have x 
is equal to negative 6. Positive negative square root of 20 over 2. So as you can see, yung 20 natin can be factored out as square root of 4 times 5. So we can have that as x is equal to negative 6, positive negative 2 square root of 5 over 2. Bakit naging 2 square root of 5? Because the square root of 4 is 2. Dinaracho na natin dyan. And then as you can see, we can factor out our numerator bilang x is equal to 2 times negative 3, positive negative square root of 5 over 2. Wherein we can eliminate this 2 and 2. At ang meron na lang tayo ay x is equal to negative 3, positive negative square root of 5. And then your x sub 1, using this, ano, this part of our solution, is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 5. This is the first value of x. Then for the x sub 2, you have negative 3 minus square root of 5. These are the possible values of x. Or these are the solutions of that rational equation. Okay? So I hope na sa ating first two examples, eh, you can already relate on how to solve rational equations transformable to quadratic equations. Again, kung bago ko lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para update ito sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.